Since I started this story, there's been a lot of pushback. Nobody wants it revisited. We've questioned why you would want to make a documentary about feminism and spin it around Mervyn Thompson. The police in Auckland have warned against people taking the law into their own hands. This follows a group of women allegedly attacking a man last night after luring him to a meeting. The story was so strange, but certainly off the planet. It's the same. They were going to kill me. What the heck? What had he done? There's been a 30% increase in the number of rapes reported. She was raped several times. It was a particularly violent assault. Sexual violence was rife. For me, it was something that had to be dealt with. What did women hear that provoked this? That he was a rapist. Mr. Thompson, is that true? Have you raped anyone? No. I haven't committed any rapes. The chances of convicting a white middle class rapist are fairly remote. There's not one piece of evidence there was no one came in and said he raped me. Who were they? And why have they hidden behind their little mask of secrecy for so long? Girls know him off. Two people said that they'd heard you say that you were involved. Absolutely no way. And there are people now who still believe that I did it. Were you involved? No. I think it was incredibly brave. I really don't know. Not hiding. actors all giving Oscar performances and how the hell do you judge who's telling you the truth or not? So what's made you decide to talk about this after all these years?